We're rolling. All right, could you introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been in real estate? Armand Azarian, and I practice real estate, investment real estate. And uh, oh. Armand Azarian, and uh, I practice real estate, investment real estate, and hard money lending in Denver, Colorado. And I've uh, been in the business for almost 40 years. Uh, I have been uh, very uh, <clears throat> fortunate to be uh, successful in my uh, profession. And uh, if there is anything that uh, any question anybody has concerning my profession, I welcome. To you, what's the difference between um more uh, conventional brokerage uh, list and sell and um, and exchanging or equity marketing? Uh, being on both sides of the uh, uh, situation, of course I started in real estate by what I call it uh, retailing. That means you list the property, you list the buyer, and you work both sides to try your, uh, uh, your work to be done the best you can. So <clears throat> I did that for about a short time, like about a few years, maybe two, three years. And then I find out that it's more attractive to get into the investment part of the real estate. Basically, my investment has started from uh, the clientele that I have built in the uh, last few years that I last few years that I was working years ago uh, that to find them an investment property and uh, and then pass it on to the uh, myself to be an investor as an investor why do you come to exchange meetings well one of the biggest problem of course everybody has is when you're making money you got to share it with Uncle Sam <laughs> you got to pay taxes so that really save a broker, investor, uh, when you're uh, buying and selling property for yourself or your clientele to do what is called 1031 exchange. Basically what it is, you pay taxes, but you defer that. And you defer them until you go to cash or? You defer them till uh, you can continuously chain affected on a deferring but finally, either you go to cash or you pass it on to your inheritance, then they pay taxes. As an investor, there's a lot here for you. Oh, yes. What kind of deals do you do? Um, I do commercial real estate mainly. I've done a lot of residential. When the market uh, fluctuates, of course, you kind of flip-flop and uh, uh, right now, I'm into the commercial uh, real estate for my investment, personal investment, shopping centers, strip malls, and uh, uh, industrial. So that's what I do. As as a lender, do you have a lot of when you come to one of these meetings? Do you get a lot of business? Uh, the other profession that I have, as you as you said, is a lender. So it's called kind of. Uh, we call ourselves hard money lender or private lender. And uh, yes, I come to these meetings, NCE meetings, and uh, yes, there would be, I find out that a lot of people that uh, they're trying to invest into real estate and they need the money and they're not bankable, we call it. So they have to come to the private individual with money that is like us and we can qualify them within a couple a couple days and provide the fund for their real estate investment. Is it more uh, personable? Yes, as you call it, personable. It's very enjoyable too. Yeah, you find a lot of good people, good friend, and uh, you help them to get where, uh, where they wanna be, to be successful. Of course, we always hope that the move they make or the buying they buy the property and borrow it from us uh, and that they would uh, be successful. Do you feel like you ha do you have a lot of returning uh, business from the same people? Yes. 
Yes. Is there a lot more trust involved? Oh, um, yes. That is, you hit it right on the um, point that, uh, yeah, a lot of time you got to trust the individual when it's become a repeat business. And if they, if, if they screw you once, you'll never work with them, right? So. Well, of course. Yeah, so yeah. trust is kind of if built you in. Know, if you know they're not capable first time when you do it and they're not really uh, be able to uh, pay back or catch up with the payments, of course, that's a And um, <clears throat> what type of people do you think are attracted to exchange meetings? What type of brokers? Like, is there a, maybe a personality trait? Well, I would... Uh, I wouldn't bring the personality trait rather than I say the knowledgeable, the people that they uh, really want to learn, they want to get ahead, and they really want to help their clientele. They come to kind of a meeting like NCE, which is exchangers, and learn how to exchange and pass it on or uh, to their clientele, clientele and, and help them to save money. Uh, can you explain to me what a formula is? Well, it can be very complicated, but it's really not. The formula basically is you have a, you buy a piece of property, let's call it a million dollar property you bought, and you sell it, say, for a million and a half. So you have basically half a million dollar profit, minus, of course, depreciation, and, uh, and so forth. So assuming for the straight number, let's say you have half a million dollar profit, this half a million dollar you have to pay what is called the capital gain. So in order not to pay the capital gain and you wanna stay in the real estate uh, uh, investment, so you exchange that to another property, it's called like property, can be a car and so forth, gotta be real estate and water included, by the way, water is real estate. And for uh, less or more of what you're selling. So when you exchange it, of course, your gain uh, is not taxable. All right. I'm sorry, it is taxable, but your tax will be deferred. What it is is that uh, really how you get into this exchanging rather than to stay away from it and the knowledge is power. So therefore, more you learn about the exchanging, more you really have power to pass it on to your client and to yourself. And it's a very, very powerful tool that hopefully uh, that we have that for years to come. But uh, uh, it's something that you gotta really understand that so you don't uh, stay away from it and uh, like I said, help your client and help yourself. Do you think there's more creativity involved? Very much, very much. Let me just say on uh, <clears throat> exchanging, uh, there's of course a facet of uh, 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 knowledge that you have. One of the things that, for example, not to complicate it, is that you can exchange, for example, your property that you're selling for another one and then but your client doesn't want that property that you're exchanging with so you can co go to what, what we call it the third leg so you just go on it down the chain like third fourth even fifth legs and keep exchanging property till all the buyers and sellers will be happy about okay um, do you like your job Oh, I love it. I wouldn't do anything else in the world. Yes.